Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna go to Cathedral Rock. Apparently there is no hike. It's just climbing the rock. So I think it's gonna be more like a rock climbing than hiking. It's right up this way. I'm so excited about it. I've been waiting to go to Cathedral Rock since long and today is the day. I mean, it's almost vertical. I'm so scared to go any further now. From Thursday to Sunday in summer, there is no parking available at the Cathedral Rocks. So there are two points from where you can take the free shuttle. So it takes about five to 10 minutes for that shuttle to reach Cathedral Rock. For that, I'm going to this park and ride parking. Here is where I would be able to get the shuttle. Cathedral Rock is here and that parking is here. And the views, you guys, you can still see some beautiful red rocks all the way to this parking also. Outside, the temperature is about late 70s, 78, 79. But the thing is that it's going to be super windy today. In 1000 feet, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Park my car. I'm at the parking. I think the shuttle might have just left because there is no one else in this parking. Let me explore this parking a little more to see where the shuttle is going to stop. Super windy. Oh, there's the shuttle behind me. You see that? Okay, it's gonna stop somewhere. Let's see. Wait, shadow, wait for me. There was such a big sign of bus stop and I missed it. Sometimes I'm so disappointed in myself. Parking lot closes at 6 p.m. So I will have to be back by 5.30 from the trail to get a bus and then reach here. It's 12.40 right now. I am at this point. And the next departure time is going to be 12.45. So the bus is right there, but it's not opening its gate. I think it might open its gate in a couple of minutes. It's such a colorful shuttle. I think they try to blend in with the red rocks. left me at the Cathedral Rock trailhead and that is the Cathedral Rock behind me so what I've heard is that the hiking on the Cathedral Rock is going to be quite steep and it is quite windy today uh, it's 21 miles per hour and the driver of the shuttle told us that if it's windy down here it's gonna be three times windy up on the Cathedral Rock hike if he was trying to scare us, it is working at least for me. So let's see how far I can go. I hope to reach at least the vortex point. Yes, there is a vortex point on this rock. These are the few trails here. We are here and from here to here it's 0.3 and from here to here this is Cathedral Rock Trail. So it's total 0.7 mile and then there are a few other trails all around. So let's start the hike. Cathedral Rock Trail this way as they say the twisted juniper tree is a proof that there is a vortex at this point I've reached the intersection point so looks like I've done this point three mile stretch and from here, I'm going to do this Cathedral Rock Trail now. So far, it has been just the stairs. So I've crossed that 0.3 mile mark. I'm just a little ahead, but still there is nothing so challenging yet. Just a few minutes from that point. Now I have started to see why it's going to be a challenge. Okay, so this is almost the vertical path that I have to go to. It does not look too difficult right now, but I think while coming down, it is going to look a bit scary like it is looking here. It looks so slanting. 
so while coming back i'm gonna have a hard time but right now i'll not worry about it i'll <laughs> go in the upward direction till wherever i can i'm sitting at the spot right in the middle and behind me there's this steep rock and i'm not able to comprehend how to climb this rock like a lizard <laughs> I mean, it's almost vertical. I'm so scared to go any further now. Someone gave me a tip to keep your shoes a little bit slanting and then try to go upwards or downwards. Do not keep your foot like straight. Just keep it at an angle. It's been almost 10 minutes that I'm sitting at this part. I'm trying to decide if I want to do this hike or if I should rather go back. I'm also trying to look at other people, how they are doing it and trying to gain some confidence. Okay, fine. I think I'm gonna do it. Oh my God, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I almost climbed like a lizard. I put both of my hands on the rock and then I just thought of going up and I climbed like a lizard, almost like a lizard, it was a vertical rock. I am still so surprised like how easy it was and how difficult it looks. Oh well, now the red sand has decided to accompany the wind because the wind was not making this hike hard enough. I think by the time I'm back from this trail, I'm gonna be a redhead. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> this hike is getting tougher and tougher little by little. I thought that I've already covered the hardest part, but looks like uh -uh, it's a lot tougher ahead. Today I realized there is a little bit of a lizard in me. It is looking slippery but I'm still trusting my grip and my shoes grip and I'm just looking two steps ahead. It's right up this way to the top. Okay, so that was a tough part of the hike, but I would say that was tough, but it was not scary because there were so many steps. So you just had to take support of both the rocks on both of your sides and just, and just climb it. When I was climbing that tough part, I thought that that might be the end of the trail, but oh, there are so many people ahead of me. So this definitely does not look like the end of the trail. So I'm just checking to where do I have to go? Oh, there are people till there. So it looks like a long way. I saw this guy. He got his walking sticks with him, but he tossed those off because at this rock, it's going to be very difficult to carry the walking sticks because at so many places, you literally have to sit down and use both the hands to slowly slide down. So keep your walking sticks at home. You're probably not going to need them at this hike. Oh my goodness, finally there is a flat walk on this hike. This hike is getting easier towards the end and the starting part was also pretty easy. It was just the middle part that was tough. My mantra at this hike has been to not to look down and not to look up too much further ahead. So I tried to focus only on my next two steps at those steep portions and that kind of helped me to overcome the fear a few minutes back someone told me that barefoot is singing at the end of the trail but looks like i just missed him and he was actually bare feet on this rocky trail damn <laughs> wow those giant rocks that was looking so tiny from below I'm almost near to it. After every 0.1 mile, I secretly hope that this is the last part. Guess who made it to the end of the trail? I did it! Yes, I cannot believe I did it! <laughs> and 
Oh my god, it was an experience. And look at that huge gigantic rock just next to me. I can touch the cathedral rock now. Now, I'm going to sit at these flat rocks and try to find my vortex. If not, I'll just enjoy this view for a couple of minutes. So guys, at this trail, I think there were at least three spots where I felt like giving up. I was like, I, I cannot do it any further because it looked pretty steep to go up. But I am so glad that I did it. There was this group of people who were asking me that if we can go to the top of that point. That is not where you can go. You can go to the bottom somewhere here. I was wearing this white shirt today. Before coming here, I did not know that I would have to slip on these red rocks. Otherwise, I would have wore some darker outfit today. I just saw this group of people. They were going to the cathedral rock to take wedding photographs. I made it. I made it to the normal road again. <laughs> I'm so happy to be alive right now. I would definitely encourage you to do this hike because this hike is something. There are definitely going to be some moments where you might want to give up. I definitely wanted to give up a couple of times. But finally, I'm so glad that I did it because now I'm so proud of myself. I felt it was kind of an achievement. I started this hike at 1 and I was back in the parking by 4.30. So it took me three and a half hours. But there were a couple of stops that I stopped to gain back my courage so at each stop i think i spent 15 minutes almost 10 to 15 minutes and other than that i also took a wrong turn and that in that i lost 30 minutes but if you are a good hiker then it could be done in two hours okay guys i'm gonna see you next time till then bye bye subscribe One thing I cannot stress enough for this hike is to wear very good traction shoes. This video is not sponsored, but I do recommend something like these Salomon uh, hiking boots.